Okay, here goes a video on power theorems of a circle. Um, there's three different power theorems that we're going to talk about. The first one is chord-chord. It's just when you have two chords inside of a circle, they're going to split each other in some way. And the ratio that they're going to be split is A times B is always going to be equal to whatever C times D is. Now, they do not have to be the same length. Um, so they can, you can have four different pieces. You could have two that are the same. It really depends. But that is going to be your little equation, so to say. So you would just multiply the two pieces of one chord and set it equal to the multiplied pieces of the other chord. The next one would be secant, secant. So to do that, A represents the outside of the secant, and then B is obviously the inside. So in order to do this, you would just do the outside times the entire secant. So we'll say outside times the whole. Um, so the outside would be A, the whole thing would be w whatever the sum of A and B is. And that would be the same with C, the outside times the whole thing, whatever C plus D is. And the last power theorem is a tangent secant. So the tangent we just square. So it would be the tangent squared. And then for secants, it's still the outside times the whole thing. So we would have the outside would be B times the whole thing, which is B plus C. Now there's one other that kind of falls into this category, and that would be tangent, tangent. That's something you already know. Um, two tangents that come from the same exterior point are always going to be congruent. So don't forget about that, because that will show up in this section. So the first thing we're going to do is one easy example of each, and then we'll have a couple of additional examples for you, and we'll be good to go. So the first thing you see here is you have two chords inside. So you're going to use the chord-chord power theorem. So that would be piece times piece of the same chord. So 3 times x would be 3x. And we would set that equal to the other piece times piece. So the other two pieces of the other chord. So 6 times 8. All right. And then you just solve it from there. So 3x is equal to 48 x is equal to 16, and you're done. So this piece has to be 16. And if you want, you can always check when you're done. So you could just do 6 times 8 is equal to 3 times 16. 48 is equal to 48. Hooray, I win. Game over. You're done. So the next example. This is an example of secant secant. So to do this, remember, you multiply the outside times the whole secant. So the outside is 3. The whole secant from here to here is x plus 3. Not 3x, three it's x plus 3. And we would set that equal to the outside, which is 4, times the whole thing, which is 6. And again, you're ready to solve. Just go. 3x plus 9 is equal to 24. Subtract your 9 from both sides. Get 3x is equal to 15. Divide both sides by 3, and you get x equals 5. And again, you're good to go. Last one is an example of the secant tangent. So remember, the tangent is the one that's squared. So we have x squared is equal to, again, it's the same for the secant. It's the outside times the whole thing. So the outside is 3. The whole thing is 3 and 9, which makes the entire length of the secant, 12, and just solve. x squared is equal to 36, so x is equal to plus or minus 6 if you're solving algebraically. However, we know we can't have a negative length in a geometric figure, so we're only going to use the positive value, x equals 6. And that's it. That's pretty much power theorems. So there are three additional examples. Um, they do involve the same setups, but they are just slightly more complicated in difficulty. Um, what I am going to recommend that you do is pause this video, try all three of these examples. As soon as you are ready, click play, see if you get them right, 
and if not, see if you can find where you made your little mistake. Um, some of these are two parts. Um, little tip, even though I don't need to give you these tips, um, for the second two in this row, find X first, and then you should be able to do the problem a little bit easier. All right, so go ahead, pause the video, give them a try. The first one was an example of secant secant. Outside times the entire secant is equal to the outside times the entire secant. Distribute x squared plus 11x is equal to 60. Since you have x squared, x and a constant, you bring everything over to one side and set it equal to 0. You're going to get an x minus 4 and an x plus 15. That'll multiply to a negative 60 and add to 11, which means your answers are 4 and negative 15. Now, if we're just talking algebraically, it's no big deal to have a negative. Um, remember, you always need to check your answers. You cannot have a negative length of a secant. So you're done. The answer is just 4. And the second example, I said find x first. That was your tip. So if you ignore this outside just for the moment, you just have a chord chord. So it's piece times piece. So we have 4x, and we set that equal to piece times piece, which is 12. Solve for x, so x is equal to 3. Okay? Now, to find y on the outside, we get to ignore this chord. So we know that x is already equal to 3. So this is a tangent secant. So we're going to have y squared is equal to the outside 2 times the whole secant. Now the secant is from here all the way to here. So you have a 2, a 3, and a 4. So the entire length of this secant is 9. So y squared is equal to 18, which means y is equal to 3 root 2. And you're good to go. In the last example, again, I gave you a tip, find x first. Now x goes back to those two tangents that come from the same exterior point that we talked about a while ago. So we have 3x minus 6 is equal to x plus 2. And from there, all you have to do is solve for x, so you're going to get your 2x is equal to 8, so x equals 4. So now that we know x is 4, our tangents are 6. So you can ignore part of those, and we're going to find y. Now we have, again, another tangent secant, now that we found that. So to work with this piece right here, the only thing we're going to do is use our tangent squared, set it equal to the outside of our secant times the entire secant, which is y plus 5, not 5y. So 36 is equal to y squared plus 5y. Set it equal to 0, so y squared plus 5y minus 36 is equal to 0. When you factor, you're going to get y plus 9 and y minus 4. So again, you have y equals 4. y cannot equal negative 9 because you cannot have a negative length. And that's it for power theorems. If you got any questions, obviously, ask me tomorrow. This is Longo, and I'm out. See you, bye.